So the Evenlock has quite a substantial board here, but when you have Malagos and a Pyroblast that does 15 damage, both playable on the same turn, it's just game over. So what deck am I playing today? I am playing Killer Raccoon's Freeze Mage. Now Killer Raccoon is a friend of mine in Hearthstone, a viewer of this channel. Um, and you may recall I've played one of his decks before. It was a Tempo Pirate Rogue with Captain Hooktusk. Uh, a very interesting creation, very different to anything that was out there on the meta. And um, Killer Raccoon is a legend player and uh, always has some very cool suggestions for me. And this deck right here, this Freeze Mage deck, when you look at the surface of the deck, yeah, it looks like a normal Freeze Mage. You know, you see some ice blocks, um, you see some burn spells that you can throw at your opponent's face once you've been able to discount them. But you look a bit further and you see Luna's Pocket Galaxy. Um, and the aim there is to discount cards like Malagos, cards like Antonidas, you discount them. Um, they cost one. You then use the Emperor to discount a load of spells in your hand, and you then just go absolutely crazy with fireworks. Um, so it's, it's an interesting deck. It's different to anything else that's out there. You've got Frost Lich Jaina in this deck for some additional healing, because sometimes Double Ice Block Mm, may not be enough. Um, there's some very aggressive decks out there and sometimes Jaina can just give you that extra bit of survivability that you need. Um, so we're going to have a look at this deck in action on the Wild Mode Ladder. Uh, I am rather inexperienced with this deck. The, the game that you're going to see will be my second game with the deck. Uh, so I'm going to ask Killer Raccoon if he is able to post a little guide in the comments section just explaining how the deck works and what the mulligan is. Um, I think that would be great. So this game is against a rogue and I see Arcane Intellect and I think, okay, that's worth keeping, it's card draw. And a Mad Scientist, really, really good. So we've got a nice curve here. We have a Scientist on two, we have Arcane Intellect on three. Feels pretty good. And what is very interesting is that this is not an odd rogue. Um, at this rank, if you see a rogue, it's usually odd rogue. Um, odd rogues are everywhere at the moment. Um, I think if you look at the Tempo Storm meta snapshot, odd rogue is identified as one of the premier tier one decks. Uh, so as soon as these meta snapshots are released, you then see a sudden surge in people playing uh, the top tier decks. Or the tier one decks, at least. Okay, this feels a bit bad. Double ice block in hand, mad scientist on board. Unfortunate. It means that we get no value from the scientist. My hand is full. And we've just milled a blade flurry. How interesting. So, what does that tell you? Yeah, Calvin Shiny Finder, it tells you that this is a King's Bane Rogue. Now, I used to hate, absolutely deplore playing against King's Bane Rogue. Uh, that was back when Leeching Poison was a problem. Since the nerf to Leeching Poison, however, um, I don't have a problem with King's Bane Rogue. In fact, one of my recent videos showcased a King's Bane Pirate Rogue. Um, which was very, very effective. Very aggressive, uh, but very effective. But without Leeching Poison, Kingsbane does not feel anywhere near as oppressive. It was that healing. It was just so annoying. You just couldn't deal with the healing effect. Uh, whatever you did, the rogue could just heal up to full health within two or three turns of just attacking with that weapon. It was so annoying. So this rogue appears to be playing some pirates. 
and is aiming to buff up that weapon. Now we have the Frost Nova Doomsayer. If there are more pirates in this deck, I'd want to save that combo um, for when we can get more value from it. But he's playing Cola Oracle and Shadow Step. So he is a Kingsbane Mill Rogue with a small selection of pirates by the looks of things. And we're taking a lot of damage here. Oh, I needed that fireball. And I needed that blizzard. And Doomsayer would have been handy as well, I think. So we are being milled here. Um, and I think it's just fine here to pull off the, the Doomsayer Frost Nova combo. But with a 5 damage Kingsbane, there's every chance that he can kill off the Doomsayer. Um, fan of Knives. And Fan of Knives again, sure. I do it. So this is quite annoying. And something else to note that's rather annoying. Luna's Pocket Galaxy in hand. Antoninus Alexstrasza also in hand. Which means, really, the only value that I'm going to get from Pocket Galaxy is on the Emperor and on Malagos. Uh, assuming I don't draw them first before I play Pocket Galaxy. So... It looks like he's going to be able to pop the block on this turn. Um, or maybe not. No, maybe not. This is important, actually. Um, Frostage Jaina, now in play, is going to help us with our healing. If he had popped the block, I wouldn't have been able to play Jaina. I would have to play Ice Block. Um, and he just pop it again. But now we've got the potential to start generating water elementals and hopefully get us out of uh, what is quite a tough situation. I want you. And discarding primordial glyph feels bad. Um, in that previous game you saw, it was Primordial Glyph that gave me the Pyroblast that I was able to combo with Malagos uh, on the same turn. And of course Malagos had been discounted by uh, Luna's Pocket Galaxy. Continuing to mill cards. Now, I need to gain some health here, or some armour. We have two artificers. So, what we'll do here is play double artificer and we can play two Frostbolts. Frostbolt is face to stop a weapon attack and Frostbolt a minion. <clears throat> so, theoretically, we should be safe. He has five damage on board. He cannot swing with the weapon. Theoretically, um he shouldn't really be able to kill us here. Unless he's running something surprising, like a charge minion. Or if he manages to get off something weird with eviscerates and something else, I don't know. You cannot escape the shadow of death. Now that's a really smart play. He is aiming to stop our water elemental from freezing his face. That's a really smart play. But we're going to start healing a bit now. I feel confident enough such that I'm not playing 
ice block here. I'm going to play Pocket Galaxy just to get the discount on Malagos. Uh, I think that could be pertinent. Now, with two water rallies on board, hopefully we can get to a point where we can just keep freezing him. Well, there's Malagos. Good thing I played Pocket Galaxy when I did. We still have um, an ice block in hand. With Alex Straza, we can bring his health down. Um, and what's interesting here is he's out of cards before me. Isn't his deck supposed to be an expert at shuffling things back into the deck? Um, so he doesn't fatigue as fast. I find this interesting. But 12 damage to my face. Ouch. I'm almost out of car. There's the Emperor. So we can clear the board. Freeze his face. Stop him from attacking us. Now we saw Blade Flurry earlier, which we uh, were able to mill. So the question is, does he have any other tools for clearing these water elementals um, whilst his face is frozen? This is the question. So I'm going to preemptively hit one of my water relics. Uh, the objective being um, to create another one uh, next turn by, uh, by doing that final bit of damage to it. Wow, there's the Vanish. Okay, again, he doesn't want his face to be frozen. I'm out of cards. We do have double Ice Lance in our hand, so we could start using those uh, to keep him frozen. We're both taking fatigue damage now, um, but my Malagos now costs zero. So the question is, mm, do we I just go decide. in with Malagos? We have Antonidas as well, and at this point of the game, my brain hurts so much that um, I'm not even counting what the damage is. I see a cheap Malagos, I see a slightly cheaper Antonidas, you require my and I see some spells in my hand, and I think, okay, let's go. Freeze his face. Generate some fireballs and just hope that we uh, can survive moving forward. Ooh, two fatigue damage. So, is there anything different we could have done there to have had him take one bit of extra damage? See, that's the question. Wow, that was a really close game, I think. We were down to our last ice block. But in the end, fatigue damage ends up killing him. Feels pretty good. Okay, so, Killer Raccoons, Freeze Mage. Tremendously fun deck to play. Very difficult to pilot. High skill cap. Uh, is this deck, uh, you're all going to ask this question now, is it a tier 1 deck? Um, I don't know. I think Killer Raccoon would be the person that can answer that question. Killer Raccoon is a legend player. Uh, quite a high legend player as well in wild mode. Um, I think the last time I checked, uh, I, I believe he was something like rank 40 legend on wild, somewhere in that region. Uh, so, you know, clearly 
clearly a good player, knows what he's doing. So if you do have any questions about this deck and its viability, please ask your questions in the comment section below, and I'm sure that Killer Raccoon will respond uh, accordingly. So as we head in to the year 2019, uh, what are my aims, what are my goals with Hearthstone? Um, I think my goals are to continue playing um, a, a large variety of different decks, to try and experience as many different kinds of deck as I can. Um, so if you guys have suggestions of decks that you'd like to see me play, um, as long as they are competitive decks uh, and can help me rank up the ladder, um, I may give them a try and play them for a couple of games and see what I think. And who knows, maybe I'll make a video uh, showcasing that th those decks in action. So if you do have any decks that you think are interesting and different to what I've already showcased on my channel, uh, do feel free to uh, leave a deck code uh, in the comments section below and uh, maybe if I have the time I'll, I'll give it a try. So I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank everyone for their support, you know, um, the channel has been growing consistently and I am grateful to, to everyone's support. Um, you know, I play Hearthstone to have fun. I publish these videos because I'm having fun. And all of the all of the nice comments, the nice feedback that people have given me does mean an awful lot to me. Um, so thank you all very much. Um, I really, really appreciate the support. And um, yeah, I'll see you all again very soon for more Wild Mode Fun.